hey guys hey look at this this is a whole mess clean the lens clean you guys all right you guys hey guys hey it is your girl so fashion week tv in the place to be and welcome 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 let me turn the um let me start this again. Alrighty, guys, your girl is out here. Hey, guys, hey, it is your girl, So Fashion Me TV, in the place to be. And hello, it is Vlogmas. And yep, your girl is on here doing her thug thizzle. This is the birthday weekend. We are going to be continuing with the birthday festivities. And yeah, hello, it is 8:25 in the a.m. I am out here in my bathroom. Yes, I am. Who else does that? Comment below. Listen, I'm not ready to get dressed yet. And I wasn't about to put on any clothes to come out here for five minutes. So I just, you know, I kept my robe on. Got my, my purse. And my camera. And I moseyed on out here, okay? So don't judge me. Um, listen, I'm out here. If anything happened... I got on clean underwear and that's the only disclaimer my grandmother ever gave me when we left out of the house. She's like, make sure you got clean underclothes on because if something happened, you don't want to be out there and they got to cut your clothes off and your underclothes are all destroyed and ripped up and stuff like that. You got to make sure your undergarments is right. So my undergarments is right underneath this robe and that's all that matters. Hmm. My family, period. Okay, the entire family, all my aunts have these, these isms, I guess you can call them, where it's like, you got to follow the rules, honey. If you don't follow those isms, you're going to find yourself out there messed up. And so that was one of the isms that my grandmother always, um, you know, kind of drilled in us. She ingrained it in us is that, you know, when you go outside, you got to make sure your, your clothes is right, especially your underwear, because you never know. <laughs> I'm pretty sure your mom, your grandma, great grandma, auntie, I'm pretty sure they've said some of the same crazy things, which is, it's true, but it's just funny to hear it, you know, like who wouldn't go outside with clean underwear on, but, you know, never question that because there's always somebody out here with some dirty drawers on, you know, that the women's bathroom in most places is the nastiest, the dirtiest, and the funkiest place ever. Um, it's a shame that women... Um, are just so nasty the way they are so you know it is important to make sure that when you come outside that you, you come out looking presentable so um, don't let me be your example as it relates to coming outside and how you should be dressed because I'm out here in a shorty pink bathroom and I'm headed to Starbucks you know hey guys hey look at this this is a whole mess okay let me see what I can do here. Let me get myself situated properly. Clean the lens. Clean you guys. Oh, this lighting situation is really bad. Okay. D'Angelo. Alrighty, guys. Hey guys, hey, it is your girl, So Fashion Week TV, in the place to be, and welcome, welcome, welcome. Let me turn the, um, let me start this again. Turn this down. Okay, turn me really turn, turn me down. Because I noticed that this camera picks up a lot of the, a lot of the, uh, the background noise from the, uh, your girl is out here hey guys hey it is your girl so fashion me tv in the place to be and hello it is vlogmas day five and yep your girl is on here doing her thug thizzle this is the birthday weekend we are going to be continuing with the birthday festivities and yeah hello it is 8 25 in the a.m i am out here in my bathroom yes i am who else does that comment below 
listen I'm not ready to get dressed yet and I wasn't about to put on any clothes to come out here for five minutes so I just you know I kept my robe on got my my purse and my camera and I moseyed on out here okay so don't judge me um, listen I'm out here if anything happened I got on clean underwear and that's the only disclaimer my grandmother ever gave me when we left out of the house she's like make sure you got clean underclothes on because if something happened you don't want to be out there and they got to cut your clothes off and your underclothes are all destroyed and ripped up and stuff like that you got to make sure your undergarments is right so my undergarments is right underneath this robe and that's all that matters hmm that is too funny when I think about that. My grandmother, my family, period, okay, the entire family, all my aunts have these, these isms, I guess you can call them, where it's like, you gotta follow the rules, honey. If you don't follow those isms, you're gonna find yourself out there messed up. And so that was one of the isms that my grandmother always, um, you know, kind of drilled in us, she ingrained it in us, is that, you know, when you go outside, you gotta make sure your, your clothes is right, especially your underwear, because you never know. <laughs> and I'm pretty sure my family is not the only one. Um, I'm pretty sure your mom, your grandma, great-grandma, auntie, I'm pretty sure they've said some of the same crazy things, which is, it's true, but it's just funny to hear it, you know? Like, who wouldn't go outside with clean underwear on, but, you know, never question that because there's always somebody out here with some dirty drawers on, you know. Um, I know from being a woman for many, many years now that the women's bathroom in most places is the nastiest, the dirtiest, and the funkiest place ever. Um, it's a shame that women um, are just so nasty the way they are. So, you know, it is important to make sure that when you come outside that you, you come out looking presentable. So, um, don't let me be your example as it relates to coming outside and how you should be dressed because I'm out here in a shorty pink bathrobe and I'm headed to Starbucks, you know? It's crazy, but that's what I'm doing. I just have to, D'Angelo. Oh, boy. D'Angelo. <laughs> D'Angelo likes to bomb all of my videos, right? <laughs> But as soon as I put the camera on him, he runs. <laughs> You're back now. Are you ready to talk? Why is it that every time I put the camera on you, you run away? You don't want to talk about it? You don't want to be friends? D'Angelo, say hi to the loved ones. You like to bomb my videos. You love it, don't you? Don't you love it? Don't you love to bomb him? D'Angelo? No? You're shy? You're shy? Front door. Hey guys, hey your girl Soul Fashion Week TV is back on here and I'm on here to show you guys the things that I picked up on Black Friday from e.l.f. So e.l.f. as you know is a cosmetics brand. They sell everything for the eyes, the lips, and the face, hence the name e.l.f. And so yeah, Black Friday they had a 50% off sale over the entire site and I used that opportunity to not only pick up some of the skincare products that I typically use, but to also try some of the things that I've never tried before. And so yeah. Yeah, let's go ahead and bust this box open. And so now the reason why I wanted to come on here and feature this segment um, on this video during Vlogmas is because I know that there are probably going to be um, lots of sales, online sales, uh, in-store sales, uh, where you can go and not only try out the products because they do have elf locations all around especially in new york new jersey we actually had an elf store um in one of the new jersey malls and i was able to go right there try out some products i'll get color matched for my makeup um and yeah i love the experience in elf they, they're giving
giving you the same level of experience that you would get if you would go into a cosmetic uh, co cosmetics counter at like a department store or if you were to go into a Sephora or a Mac store you can get a consultation with a makeup artist they will make up your face the whole nine yards and the makeup is really really affordable um, and I want to really drive that point home because for so long I thought that I couldn't adopt a skincare routine um, into my lifestyle because um, everything that I watch on YouTube anything that I see coming up in my feed on Instagram is typically them trying to push to me a very high-end product that is really out of my reach over an extended period of time if you think about it if you're buying a moisturizer that costs hundred and twenty nine dollars and you have to re-up on that moisturizer every 30 days that is a huge expense and that's just a moisturizer and typically guys a lot of the high-end moisturizers and a lot of the high-end anti-aging creams and uh, all of the masks and things like that they um, they have these unrealistic promises um, they're pitching these unrealistic promises that the brand really can't hold up to. If I'm going to pay for a skincare product that I need to use every day, it needs to be affordable and it needs to be within my reach. And I believe that this is within my reach. So let's share. Okay guys, so as you can see that they had the box very tightly packaged so you don't have to worry about anyone uh, breaking into your box or stealing anything out of it en route to you. It's packaged really, really well. Now the only thing that I will say is that they did not put an invoice, they did not put an invoice in this box, or at least that I can see. Yeah, they didn't include an invoice in the box and that is a really big pet peeve that I have uh, with some of the uh, online retailers is when you order from their site, they don't include an invoice. And since I um, had placed several orders over Black Friday and Cyber Monday, I don't really remember everything that I ordered. So I'll probably have to just go back into um, an email just to confirm that I did receive everything that I purchased. But I can tell you that this box full of goodies uh, cost me just under $50 which was very inexpensive for the amount of products that I got uh, and so yeah let me go ahead and jump right into this box so the first thing that I'm pulling out of the box is a jet set hydration kit and this is a, a travel a travel kit uh, so all of the um, items in this packaging is uh, safe for airport travel uh, for carry-on luggage so I love that about it and so let me just run down everything that you get in the Jet Set Hydration. You get a daily hydration moisturizer. You get an illuminating eye cream. You get a nourishing night cream. Also get a prep and hydrate balm. And lastly, you get a daily facial cleanser. So this is a five piece set that you can get. This is a full skincare routine in one little travel package. Uh, so if you're someone who maybe works overnight or if you uh, babysit, if you're, you know, if you, if you're, if you're traveling or if you're, if you're out places a lot overnight and you want to invest in a travel skincare kit, um, this is really, uh, this is pretty awesome. Um, I bought it as a, as a, just to try it out to see if I'm going to like the product. So to start out, I figured it would be cool to just try out in the travel sizes just in case I don't like it. I very seriously doubt that I, I won't like it because um, historically, the things that I've tried by e.l.f. has always been stellar. Um, so yeah, I'll keep you guys posted on my thoughts on that product once I get an opportunity to use it. Okay, the next three things that I bought, guys, are repurchases. These are things that I've already tried before. Um, so these are, these are eye masks. And let me tell you something. Eye masks are where it's at if you have dark circles under your eye. Um, I struggle with that because 
sometimes it's hard for me to get down at night to go to sleep and so sometimes I have insomnia and I'm up now my sleep has significantly improved in uh, in recent days because I've adopted taking um, a melatonin supplement a 10 milligram melatonin supplement and that has uh, truly helped me to uh, to settle my mind and to get off to sleep quicker um, but typically I do suffer with insomnia where I'm not able to sleep very well at night and so as a result of that I end up with dark circles and kind of like bags under my eyes and so I tried this on a whim no one even suggested it to me I was in Walgreens one day and I saw that they had these eye masks um, at the elf in uh, cap and so I grabbed them and I tried them and I cannot tell you how much this helps this is like literally no lies no joke it's like filler in a box um so you get i believe they give you uh, three sets of eye mask in each box and they run five dollars five dollars you get three that's that's it's like a deal it's an unbeatable deal and like i said it's like filler in a box like it snatches your i mean it snatches it back like literally it snatches it and you will look so amazing. You will feel like you have been given an instant eye lift. It's, it, it's simply amazing. So I purchased three of these. They're normally $5 and because they were 50% off, I got them for $2.50 a box. Uh, so that's nine masks that I, I got for for seven dollars and fifty cents you can't beat that so i thought that was a really good buy so what i'll do is thumbs up this video comment below if you want me to do a demo on these uh masks just to show you how it literally is like filler in a box no lies no joke trust me on that trust me okay so the next thing i got is the makeup mist and set so this is just a setting spray i needed to get one and i like the fact that elf uh, gives you um, they give you four fluid ounces of product and I want to say this was under five dollars as well so yeah this was a good buy as well the next thing I picked up is just a retractable eyeliner I like the retractable eyeliners because it's no mess um, I have a lot of just regular eye pencils upstairs and I have to use a pencil sharpener so um, I prefer to use the retractable ones so that I'm not like getting pencil shavings all over the place the next thing I picked up is a Glow Dewy Mist, and this is with coconut and argan oil. I've never tried a dewy mist before, but I was just interested. Uh, the color struck me. The color of the um, the packaging is what struck me, and then of course coconut and argan oil. Uh, that mix, that scent is just phenomenal. So I purchased this and I'll try it out and let you guys know what I think. Uh, the next thing I picked up, guys, is this Beauty Shield. Now this is an antioxidant enriched skin protection and this is a massaging overnight recovery cream so what I was thinking this would probably be like a um, like a jade roller um, with like products inside of it it almost looks like that because it has these little like metal things on it metal beads and so it almost seems as though it would act similar to what a jade roller would do for your skin to help to uh, get the product to roll the product into your skin and so I was excited to try this as well and then lastly guys beauty blenders because you can never have too many of these uh, this is what I use to apply my foundation uh, in the mornings and so I had run out and uh, believe it or not these sell out really quickly at the local uh, drug stores like Walgreens, Rite Aid, CVS, any of those um, local drug stores that carry e.l.f. products these are always sold out and so I took the uh, Black Friday as an opportunity to restock on my beauty blenders and that basically does it for my e.l.f. haul guys it was really quick down and dirty not a lot to show you but again everything that i purchased was exactly what i wanted to try and exactly what i needed to re-up on and yeah that does it for this elf haul remember remember do not waste your money on high-end high-priced skincare products good skincare is within your you can literally waste your whole day with editing and <laughs> It is a whole process. It really is a process. It really is. And you really have to like <laughs> believe in what you're doing if you want to keep, you know, keep the momentum going because it really can get like get discouraging, especially like 
when you put all your effort into a video and nobody watches 